Okay, hello, um, this is part two of the HNC art design course video. Um, we are now going to look at some of the most popular choices for art universities in the UK. Um, so let's first look at the most popular choice for Korean students and that would be um, UAL. Um, it says here it's top two in the world for art and design. Um, the UAL has six different colleges uh, under one university name, so UAL, and we'll have a little look at those colleges now. So we have Camberwell College of Arts, Central St Martins, Chelsea College of Art, uh, London College of Communication, London College of Fashion and Wimbledon College of Arts. If we just have a quick look at the map, you can see that these colleges are spread out um, throughout London. Um, there's a couple of them missing off of this map, but there's also one down here near Wimbledon. So Camberwell College of Arts, let's see what they offer. We are looking at undergraduate courses. So some of the accessible courses um, from doing HNC, um, we've got graphic design, illustration, interior design and spatial design, fine art drawing, fine art painting, fine art photography, fine art sculpture. So Camberwell College of Arts is very well known for its fine arts programs. If we go into the course specifications, we can have a look at their IELTS score for entry. So here we can see the start date is September. This is very common. Uh, I think all courses in the UK start in September. UK courses are three years opposed to over in America. I think they're about four years over there. Um, and other international colleges are, the, are very similar. When you're looking at the specification of your course, it's very important to look at the student's work. Uh, do you like it? Is it something that interests you? If yes, then this might be the course for you. So let's have a little look at how to apply. Uh, so we've got the entry requirements. Um, English language requirements. So there's an IELTS score of 6.0 or above with at least 5.5 in writing reading, listening and speaking. Um, so this is the same for most courses in the UK. This is mainly to do with the, um, reasons for the visa. Um, let's have a look at the international section. Um, so there are three ways international students can apply to an undergraduate course at Camberwell. So that's through one of our official representatives in your country, through UCAS or by a direct application. Um, so yeah. Usually home students only have one way and that is via UCAS. There is a different deadline for international students as well so be very aware of that when you are applying. Okay so let's have a little look at fees and funding. So international fees are much higher than home and EU fees. 2,200 almost £2,300 for the year 2020 to 2021. These course, uh, course fees increase year by year so this covers the cost of facilities and lectures. You will need to buy your own supplies. For example, materials for your course like pencils, paints, canvases, material. You will also need to factor in travel expenses and the accommodation rate. So the typical cost weekly of living in London, and this is just for London, is about £300 per week. Maybe a little bit less if you live more frugally. Um, so that translates to roughly about £400,000 one. Um, 400,000, 460,000 one. So let's have a look at some other courses, some other colleges before we move on. So the next one is Central St Martins. Now Central St Martins is one of the most famous art schools in the UK. Um, it's been around for quite a long time. So it says undergraduate courses at Central St Martins engage our students with the most current ideas and methods in their particular field. So it's very much a very experimental um, art University. Some accessible courses um, at Central St Martins, architecture, ceramic design, uh, fashion communication, fashion communication, um, fashion history and theory, fashion design for menswear, let's have a look what else they've got, fashion, fashion print, graphic communication design, jewellery design, fine art and textile design and product and industrial design. So actually there's quite a lot that um, you could go on to. Um, Central St Martins is actually in the slap bam in the centre of London behind uh, King's Cross Station which is quite a nice place to be. So Chelsea College of Arts um, offers lots of fine art 
courses, graphic design and communication, textiles, interior design, product and furniture design, all accessible via the HNC route. LCC, London of Co um, College of Communication, their courses, more design based, definitely undergraduate courses. So it is a specialist school for communication, offering courses in advertising, animation, art direction, game, games design, illustration and visual media, and many, many more. Um, all accessible via taking the graphic design HNC route. Uh, so yep, if you want to study here, I, I recommend taking graphic design pathway. Let's have a look now at London College of Fashion. Now, London College of Fashion is the most famous for studying fashion design. It's very popular. All the courses at this college are accessible via the fashion and textile route. They offer undergraduate courses in things like tailoring, bespoke, yeah, bespoke tailoring, footwear design, costume, creative direction for fashion, fashion contours. They even have a course for hair and makeup for fashion as well, pattern cutting for fashion many many different courses. Next let's have a look at Wimbledon College. So Wimbledon College of Art they um, are mainly based around performance so things for theatre. The courses that they offer that are accessible via taking the HNC. I would say costume for theatre and screen you could do that via the textile route. Uh, production for arts for the screen so art practices route. Creative technical theatre as well. Yeah, so many different options. Okay, so let's move away from London now. Uh, let's look at some of the universities outside of London um, that are specialised in art and design. So it's based in Bournemouth, which is in the southwest of England. I'll just zoom out so you can see how far London is. It only takes a couple of hours on the train to get into central London, but we've also got cities like Bristol nearby, Bath, Exeter as well is not too far away, and Portsmouth the Isle of Wight. Bournemouth is um, on the coast, it's got this really big beautiful beach that you can go to in your spare time. Um, it has a more relaxed pace of life and a lower living cost than London. So it's number one currently in the UK for art and design. Let's have a look at some of the courses that they offer. So we can see they offer a wide range of courses. So art design history, uh, animation production, commercial photography, um, costume design, fashion, fashion branding and communication, fine arts, um, graphic design, illustration, interior architecture and design, all accessible after taking uh, HNC art design via any specialism or any pathway. So the course fees for University Arts Bournemouth, Arts University Bournemouth, sorry. So the current fee for international students is £16,950 per year, so significantly lower than London. Um, and so this is actually per year. There are different discounts and scholarships as well available to you. Um, and one of the benefits of living in Bournemouth is that the living costs are going to be so much lower than in London as well. The English requirements will be um, very similar to London, if not the same. Okay, so next, let's have a look at our next destination. So we're going to look at the Norwich University of the Arts. So it is in the city of Norwich, that is in Norfolk. I will just zoom out so you can see. Uh, so here is Norwich, here is London. Um, with direct links to London, so it won't take very long to get into the centre of London. So this is another one of the top art universities in the UK. Um, it's a historical creative city. Um, it's very creative here. Um, so they offer animation, animation and visual effects, architecture, design for publishing, fashion, fashion and communication and promotion, uh, textile design, user experience design, graphic design, illustration, loads of different courses. And let's have a quick look at the pricing. So the fees and funding. So for an international student it's £15,000 a year. Um, so much cheaper than Bournemouth, much, cheap, much much cheaper than London. Let's have a look at our next destination. So Leeds Art University based in Leeds. So we are more northern here but still with a really good connection actually to London. Only taking about 
I think maximum three hours um, via a direct route. So you're really close to Manchester here. Um, Leeds is also a very vibrant, bustling city um, with a big student population as well. Um, and many Korean students as well. It's one of the newest universities on this list. So let's have a look at their homepage. Um, so living costs in the north are significantly cheaper than in the south. People are stereotypically much more friendly as well in the north. So Leeds, being a new university, um, has lots of state-of-the-art facilities and is more accommodating to students and their experience. Um, let's have a look at some of the um, courses that they offer, so undergraduate courses. Okay, so some of the accessible courses um, from doing HNC, so things like animation, a very unique course, comic and concept art, uh, fashion design, fashion branding with communication, fine art, graphic design, illustration, photography, visual communication, textile design. So we've got breakdown of what you are going to be studying years one, two and three. The entry requirements, maybe not the entry requirements. So tuition fees, so for international students you'll be paying same as Bournemouth, so 15,400. Once again significantly lower than in London. And living costs as well, as I said, are very cheap up in the north. Um, and the English language requirement will be the same, um, 6.0. Um, so there are many options throughout the UK and this has been a brief introduction to some specialist universities. So um, we've got the UAL, University Arts Bournemouth, just to recap, uh, Norwich University of the Arts and Leeds University. Um, so I hope this has been um, helpful to you and has been a quick introduction to the courses that we offer here at YMK College and the opportunities it can have for you in the future. So if you have any questions, please call and book for a consultation with us and we will be happy to help you.